Hello everybody, today I will be preparing a 5 ingredients strawberry mousse and this entire video along with the pictures were taken using the Zenfone 6. Uh, Asus uh, actually sent me this Zenfone 6 and they sent me to use this phone for a week's time and see the applications they have and see the picture quality and video quality on the phone. I am really grateful to Zen because I got the opportunity to use this phone and practically use it on my videos. I really enjoyed the picture qualities and editing and all the applications on the phone. It's so user friendly and really good to use. As you can see the picture quality is really crystal clear. It gives a lot of options. You need not use uh, different uh, softwares online or apps on Google or any other website to just create the effect you want on your pictures. It's all done in a jiffy. You can read more about the phone on my blog. As of now, we'll get into the recipe. All that I've done is I've taken about a half a kilo of uh, strawberries. I've cut them in halves. I've removed all the heads off and I've reserved it. Thoroughly washed it and reserved it. We also need one tablespoon of oil. If you can find, you can use a strawberry jelly uh, out of a box or you can use just gelatin. We also need whipping cream. I found this wonderful product just the other day whipping cream out of a box in a powder format it's so simple and easy to use and we also need one cup of sugar now let's get into the method and process and see how we can get this mousse done now all that i've done is i have uh, added the whipping cream powder format to a bowl i'm following the package directions and i've added about 100 ml of uh, cold water to this I'm going to give this a good whisk and allow this to set for three minutes I'm going to place this in the refrigerator it sets well in the refrigerator so I'm just going to do that Now, I, in a heavy bottom pot, I've added the strawberries, which are cleaned and chopped into halves. And I've also added the sugar. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and add the strawberries to a heavy bottom pot, along with the sugar, one cup of sugar, and about one cup of water. And I'm going to place this on a medium flame. Uh, please check the sour content in the strawberry and add extra sugar if needed because sometimes the strawberry tends to be a little bit uh, sour and at that point you'll need about a half a cup of extra sugar to prepare the syrup so this uh, syrup if you prepare the syrup it stores up to six months in the refrigerator bring this to a good boil and check if the strawberry is well done at this point uh, once the strawberry is done it's done cooking and it's nice and mushy you can go ahead and remove this from the flame and you can pass this uh, strawberries through a sieve and extract the pulp or puree. I'm really sorry if the picture quality is shaky. At this point, I'm using just one hand and I'm uh, recording with the phone in the other hand. I'm really sorry. I'm using my mobile Zenfone 6 to record this video. So I did not have a tripod. And the only disadvantage I had was if, uh, if only I had a tripod, I could mount the phone on the tripod. I would have loved it. But otherwise, I had just had to film it all by myself without any help. So it's the picture quality might be a little bit of wobbly or shaky here and there. At this point, I've, uh, do I'm done with the puree. This puree, if you can put it in a bottle and you can store it for up to six months in the fridge. And you can use it for different dessert recipes. Now, I'm just taking one and a half cup of that puree. It's still warm. And I'm going to add it to the jello mix and give this a good whisk. And I'm going to make sure the entire jello mix is dissolved completely before I add the oil. If your strawberry uh, 
syrup is not warm uh, you can uh, go ahead and heat it in the microwave and then add the jello mix to it you can do it that way if you're using a ready-made strawberry puree from the store at this point I'm just going to go ahead and add the oil one tablespoon of oil the oil gives a good sheen and it gives a very good sort of a glossy uh, texture or uh, appearance in the mousse I'm just going to give this a good whisk and reserve it now I'm just going to allow this to cool down a bit before I add it to the whipping cream so let this cool before I add this to the whipping cream now my whipping cream is set I'm going to use an electric beater and whisk the whipping cream till it forms peaks this whipping cream powder is magic your whipping cream is done just in five minutes and it's lovely it's absolutely wonderful product that I found in the market and I really love this do try this whipping cream it's wonderful it solves all your burdens at this point I'm just going to add spoonful of the um, strawberry puree and I'm just going to fold it in and thank God my mom came to my rescue and she started filming a bit for me add the strawberry puree little by little and start folding it strawberry puree has uh, incorporated well in the whipping cream place this in the refrigerator before you start serving it out into the shot glasses um, I placed my uh, strawberry mixture in the fridge for about half an hour's time before I placed it inside a piping bag and I wanted to present it in a professional way so I wanted to pipe that uh, mousse in the shot glasses so all that I've done is I've taken the uh, strawberry mousse and added it to the piping bag with a large uh, star tip nozzle and I'm just going to pipe it out Now once I have uh, piped all the mousse inside the sh shot glasses, I'm just going to place it in the refrigerator and allow it to set for 5 minutes or so. And once it's set, I'm just going to garnish it with the strawberry and little bit, I'm going to drizzle a little bit of the sauce. The recipe in detail is posted on my blog. Blog link will be posted in the about bar below this video. The same recipe is translated in the Tamil language and posted in my Tamil channel. Do visit the info box below this video. If you like this video, do subscribe and like and share with your friends. I will see you soon with the next recipe video. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.